around the world. The calls for justice led to a quick response with charges today against all four of the former Minneapolis police officers who were involved and all are behind bars this evening. Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison elevated the charge against former officer Derek Chauvin to second degree murder from the original third degree charge, and he's been in custody since. He is now joined by the three other officers involved, Tu Tao, Thomas Lane, and J. Alexander King. Uh, those three other former police officers are charged with aiding and abetting the murder of George Floyd. Tu Tao, who can be seen standing next to Chauvin, Thomas Lane and J. Alexander King were the first officers to arrive on the scene. They can be seen putting handcuffs on George Floyd and then placing him on the sidewalk. Attorney General Keith Ellison says this will be a tough case to prosecute. I say that uh, I say this not because we doubt our resources or our ability. In fact, we're confident in what we're doing. But history does show that there are clear challenges here and we are going to be working very hard and relying on each other and our investigative uh, partners and the community to support that endeavor. To the Floyd family. Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman is working with Ellison's team. He is the only county attorney in Minnesota who has successfully convicted a police officer for murder. Governor Tim Walz had this to say about the charges. This is a step today that the public uh, wants to see. Um, our justice system uh, needs to make sure that justice is served. And our Esme Murphy is live outside of the Attorney General's office. Esme? Well, Frankie, it was just four days ago that the governor appointed governor of Attorney General Keith Ellison to be in charge of this investigation. Just four days later, this extraordinary announcement by the Attorney General. Ellison announced that Officer Derek Chauvin, the officer who was charged this Friday with third-degree murder, will be charged with second-degree murder. He has been in custody since last Friday. His bail has been increased from $500,000 to $1 million. The definition of second-degree murder is to cause the death of a human being without premeditation. The maximum sentence for second degree murder is 40 years in prison as compared to 20 years for third degree. The other three officers are in the process of being arrested this afternoon and evening. They face aiding and abetting second degree murder charges that also carries a maximum of 40 years in prison if convicted. Ellison says this case is about justice for George Floyd. To the Floyd family, to our beloved community, and to everyone that is watching, I say, George Floyd mattered, he was loved, his family was important, his life had value, and we will seek justice for him and for you, and we will find it. But what I do not believe is that one successful prosecution can rectify the hurt and loss that so many people feel. Now, the attorney general made it very clear that this investigation is going to take months, which means that there won't be a trial for months. Uh, attorney General Keith Ellison was also a formerly successful criminal defense attorney, and he says he is very confident that these charges can be successfully prosecuted. Okay. Esme, thank you.